All right, so welcome back to Tech Edu Tips, uh, February 10th, Wednesday. Uh, again, I'm publishing these in Spanish on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then uh, in English, the same content on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So I record them the day before in English, and I, I send them out daily. Uh, Spanish, English, Spanish, English, Spanish, English. Um, so back to the topic. So I, uh, I really like the work of Derek Bruff. Um, he's a director for Center uh, for Teaching at Vanderbilt. He actually spoke at one of our international conferences. I think it was the first one we did in, in Mexico City at our Mexico City campus. And, and I had the chance to meet him. Excellent presentation. And I followed him and I followed his podcast, which is Leading Lines. Um, for one reason or another, I, I keep adding podcasts, removing them because it just gets too many. And it wasn't in my feed. But I saw this article, I'll talk about it later in another episode about uh, that Betsy Barre wrote about student workload. And um, this episode was with Betsy Barre and, and Karen Costa. And I still need to listen to the one with Jesse, actually. Um, I really like Jesse's work, really like the work that he does. And I was filtering back to episodes that I hadn't listened because I unsubscribed. I don't know, a year ago, two years ago. And Dan Levy, who wrote the book, Teaching Effectively with Zoom, second episode, second edition just came out. And it's actually in Spanish and English for those that are listening that speak Spanish natively. Um, and Dan and Derek were talking about this activity that uh, they called Ready, Set, Go. And in this uh, blog post at Vanderbilt, Derek explains it. And here goes the ready, set, go question. It's actually something his wife learned from taking a class in the summer. And they explained it. And I thought, this is great. And so the idea is this. Um, and I've applied this in my groups on Monday. Uh, classes of 29 students, 26 students, and 29 students. And I asked them to prepare, like get ready. And they went and researched a topic or a phrase, um, a concept and they prepared it, they got ready. And I don't want them to shout it out. I don't want them to you know, put it in the text chat. Um, using the text chat's really important in online learning. And so I told them, please don't, don't put it in right away, right? Take five minutes or two minutes or three minutes to prepare. I, I used five and um, I asked them to get it prepared, put it in a notepad or some other software that they have on their computer or, or on their device, get it ready and then get set. So get set by copy pasting or putting it into the text chat, but don't hit enter. Please don't hit enter yet. The second group, there's a bit of a kerfuffle because some of them got excited and put the answers before I said go. And, and then I said go, right? And, and I waited and Derek, um, I waited for a while to say go. Derek mentions that maybe have them do the virtual hand thing in your, in your video tool. And uh, so when you hit go, a big huge stream goes by of all the answers and it was just it was wonderful we spent some time reviewing different answers in, in my case some were in Spanish some were in English some were direct quotes some were their ideas uh, and we spent a, a lot of time uh, five minutes at least reviewing those answers uh, synthesizing them uh, asking for where did you get that resource if they didn't include the resource was a really rich experience of sharing in the classroom. And I did this later into the session because I think it really kind of broke up the session after, a, after an hour being together. And um, Derek mentions in, in the article, and I think on the podcast, that this really helps students that aren't quick at answering. And that brings ba back to thinking about my podcast episode with Stacy Roshan, where she talked about how in school she, she wasn't quick at answering and she needed time to answer. So I really think it gives these students and all students a chance to think and reflect before they answer. And I really like that. So I wanted to share it. So I hope that's useful. Again, like, subscribe if you got a chance and, and, and you'd like to. And uh, please, down below, I'll have links to these. And if you want to put a comment uh, asking for some content that I could record something about for you, go ahead. Have an excellent rest of the week, and thank you for watching.